Hi and welcome. This episode is an introduction to D using the DSFML library. It's aimed at people who are just getting into programming and are looking for slightly more advanced projects. This tutorial is also great for anyone just getting into D. Before we get started, here are a couple of things you should already be comfortable with. Basic program flow, functions, classes, structs, objects, and passing by reference and copy. Okay, let's get started. D is a growing language in the community. It offers many of the benefits of C or C++, whilst maintaining the simplicity of development that Java offers. I think this makes it a good choice for game development, as it has the same level of overhead as C, but much friendlier syntax. The first step is to get set up with Dub. Dub is D's project manager. It allows you to easily use libraries and manages compiling and running your projects too. Check below for links to the download page. I'm using Arch Linux. These install steps may be different for your distribution or operating system. Details of that are also in the description. After you've installed dub, create a new directory, open a terminal or command prompt and cd to that folder. Just run dub and it will prompt you to specify a couple settings. Feel free to set the name of the application, but leave most of the things as their defaults. It can all be changed later. You should now see a couple files and a folder called source. This means you're all set. Open the project folder in your favorite IDE. I use Visual Studio Code as it works best for me. Open up the file app.d. This is the main file of your project. Just to make sure everything works, I'm going to edit the string in this right line function and run it. To compile and run your project, just type dub in your terminal and it should output hello world. If it doesn't, you might be missing the DMD compiler. Check below for links to that. Or you're at something other than hello world in there. Now that we know everything works, we can get started with DSFML. If you weren't aware, DSFML is a D port of the popular C++ SFML library that is used for 2D games. The best thing about Dub is that it manages libraries for us, mostly. What this means for us is that it's incredibly easy to download and use libraries in D. In your terminal, type dub add dsfml and it will add dsfml as a dependency of our project. This means we can now use this library in our code. Now we're finally ready to write some code. Firstly, we have to add two more imports. These are from the dsfml library and are used to create our game window and interact with it. We create a new window with a resolution of 800 by 600 and the title DSFML, because DSFML is great. Next, we add two while loops. The first one will continue to run while the window exists. Without this, our program would just exit instantly, which really isn't what we want. It is what is commonly referred to as the game loop. The second loop will fetch any events. These are things like key presses or mouse movements. We check to see if there is a window closed event. This happens when you try and close the window. Without it, nothing would happen when you click the X. The last two lines of code are the most important. We clear the window, removing anything that might be there from a previous frame and setting the background color. Then we call display, which will update the window with anything that we draw in this frame. This just happens to be not a lot this time around. If you picked the same RGB colors as me for your background, you should now see a nice bright yellow window. Well done, you just wrote a simple game loop and event handler in D. If you received an error that I haven't mentioned, you most likely missed something. Make sure your code matches mine and if you still aren't sure, feel free to leave a comment and hopefully somebody will help you out. Okay, that's all for this video. I hope this quick introduction helped you get started with D. I'll be continuing this series, possibly into a remaking retro game style thing, where we create Pong, Asteroids, Space Invaders and other classic arcade games. This is my first ever video, so any feedback is appreciated. In the spirit of open source, you'll find a GitHub repository linked below containing all the resources from this video, including a full transcript. If you have any ideas of projects you'd like me to develop, let me know down below. I'd also greatly appreciate it if you showed how much you enjoyed this video by clicking all the relevant buttons down there too. See you next episode.